learning how to love and do it is my highest purpose in life. Today I will speak uh, about the Armoring. Uh, so, um, the Armoring concept uh, and uh, how uh, we do a bit. Uh, the the Armoring, uh, the name is coming from the armor. Uh, so, the armor, uh, the protection, what uh, we put uh, on ourselves to protect ourselves from uh, different circumstances. And yes, um, the armor, uh, yes, the knights, uh, the readers, uh, they, they uh, put uh, on themselves to not get good, to not uh, lose life and so on. Uh, and um, just before they go to battle, they put it on, uh, of iron, and uh, this protects them from uh, when they punch, but they are not uh, killed. So, uh, after the battle, when they celebrate the victory or whatever, uh, they remove uh, the armor to feel comfortable, to enjoy life, enjoy pleasure, whatever. We also put our armors by circumstances of our life, uh, uh, our parents uh, put the armor uh, on us uh, to protect us uh, from the bad things that may happen. Uh, but the thing is, with uh, our armor, we cannot take it off like the knights are doing uh, when they uh, finish the battle. We have it all on the time. So we uh, are protected from the pain, but we also cannot experience the pleasure. We can uh, be fully alive because this is just blocking us. So um, yes, first uh, it's important to recognize how uh, the armor uh, it's put it on us. So yes, when uh, like for example uh, a child uh, in its nature doesn't have. Uh, the fear of water, for example. But the parents, um, whenever he comes close to the water, uh, start to shout, oh yes, uh, start to panic, uh, uh, oh, be careful, and so on. Uh, uh, or they just are afraid. The child absorbs a lot of energy and start to copy, start to uh, absorb the fear. Uh, so, so uh, it uh, picking is picking up the fear of the parents. Uh, the, the water is something you have to be afraid, and that's how he put the armor. Anytime when he's close to the water, it's uh, uh, afraid to uh, let's be in the water. In, in the nature. Uh, like we are born, we are like nine months uh, in, in the water and basically if you uh, naturally uh, give birth in the water, the child naturally is swimming in the water without any fear, without, uh, uh, if it continues like this, it's, uh, it never has fear in the water, but because of the conditionings, yes, we put the, uh, a, a lot of armors. And uh, yes, a lot of armors we put uh, around the sexuality, you know, like uh, uh, the same way, you know, like when the child uh, um, starts uh, like, uh, to play with uh, him herself. Uh, uh, the parents very often uh, are uh, reacting on it like, hey, uh, uh, taking the hands away, uh, even like uh, and, uh, uh, being scared, being uh, like, oh, ashamed what uh, uh, the child is doing in front of the grandma or whatever, and, or the grandma is like, oh, the child is there, and so the child is picking up all these energies, like, hey, you know, like, uh, I cannot uh, touch 
myself. The Sophie Brown, the parents, uh, my best, the, my first teachers are uh, uh, teaching me not to do that. You know? like, so they uh, put a lot of armor. That, hey, this is not safe. This is not uh, this is, uh, uh, what I should not do. You know? But naturally, you know, like all children, you know, they play with themselves. Just to, like they play with their tongue. They, you know, pick up uh, anything from the floor. They explore. Uh, they. Uh, and they explore their body also in a natural way, you know, like so, so it's naturally they play, uh, self pleasure themselves because uh, they, it's ple uh, pleasant, so they like to explore this. But that's how also we put uh, uh, the armor on our sexuality. So we, uh, from, uh, you know, like uh, some, uh, uh, it's not, not that. Uh, our parents uh, had bad intentions or whatever, you know, like uh, if we, we just walk around and uh, self-pleasure ourselves on the street, it's uh, also maybe uh, not very safe, you know, when, especially when you are a child or whatever, you know. But, you know, like the thing is this armor we keep on and when we go towards sexuality we have a lot of blockages and uh, we uh, protect ourselves from being hurt, being uh, um, yes, uh, feeling uh, some uh, things what we don't want to feel, but we also protect ourselves from the pleasure. You know? Like so circumstances also can uh, put the armor on us. If we uh, had some relationship what uh, broke our heart, we uh, are afraid uh, to uh, build another relationship. Uh, we uh, are not so open anymore, you know, like than it w we would be before. So, so, so yes. Uh, uh, so, the armoring process is uh, about uh, to uh, release this armor uh, to have the ability, you know, like to uh, to have freedom. But, you know, we can put the armor wherever we feel to that we need that protection but we have freedom to take it off whenever we like to feel pleasure. You now like the night has this freedom, like, uh, okay, I, uh, I go to the battle, I put the armor, I come back from the battle, I celebrate, maybe I go to sleep with my half, I don't need armor there. I want to feel, have touch, have pleasure, you know, like so, so in a simple way, it's uh, a bit like this. Any questions about uh, We do the uh, physical day morning. Uh, we work on the physical body. Uh, but, uh, you know, like, it's... Uh, um, there are more bodies than physical one. Uh, especially in Tantra, we recognize, we work on all those bodies. And the morning uh, uh, massage, it's also like working on the other bodies, like, uh, uh, you work on the emotions to release the emotions what uh, are freezed into our bodies, uh, like uh, this emotion of fear uh, or uh, shame, guilt, you know, like uh, uh, anger. Uh, it's uh, freezed in our body. Uh, this is like forming the protection. It's actually the armor. Uh, 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 in the chemical way, it's actually literally the iron what it's holding us from being like free and open, you know? When you have a lot of armor, you can also see like the people who are uh, rigid, you know, like in their life, they have a lot of armor. You can see on their body, they are like, you know, their hand, their face is like this. I see very often like, uh, uh, not only uh, after the, the armoric uh, class, uh, the armoric session, but also at the other uh, tantric workshops, like even sometimes after one, two hours, or three hours workshop, people afterwards, their face is open, relaxed. It's like a different person that comes like, mm, uh, what is this tantra? What is, uh, would I have to be naked? Mm. You know, someone will touch me and I don't know if I like it, you know, they come a lot of with this uh, protection and stress, you know, like, uh, and then afterwards, like, when they release and they, they 
the feel they they were like wow different person smiling uh, uh, open free liberated so yes um, uh, so so uh, you work also on the emotional body on the energetical body on other on, uh, on all other body and in the same way you know like uh, we do the physical uh, VR more uh, but you can do VR more also in other ways you know like uh, you can lose these protections in other ways you know like uh, by uh, creating uh, the same circumstances uh, what make you put the armor if the person knows that these circumstances are just maybe played you know they are in the safe environment then uh, the person can react in different way than in the moment when uh, yes she had to or he had to put that arm so for example if they were abused you know like um, uh, sexual abuse usually you know like uh, we are like uh, um, helpless we are uh, defenseless uh, maybe we were children and uh, we could not uh, uh, do anything against our oppressor so uh, we freeze with our fear and all this emotion you know like uh, uh, it's storage there in our body usually uh, if it's about sexual abuse you know like usually it's storage uh, in, around the sexual area so like for that reasons uh, the most efficient uh, VR morning, it's like a young massage. The VR morning, what we're gonna do today, it's uh, like in the body, it's uh, more about the other areas of our life, but it can be also uh, like connected to the sexuality of God. By recreating the same situation from like, uh, you know, like you play, uh, that you are relating uh, uh, to woman. But but no, but you playing acting it out uh, in the safe circumstances that the person knows. Okay, and the person can react. Hey, now I can uh, in different way that she uh, reacted in the moment when uh, uh, she had to freeze. She could not express her uh, emotions or whatever. She may be doing the whatever physical the uh, morning or acting out the morning and she is able to release that emotion but she free herself from that emotion what is putting this protection what is holding her back from feeling like uh, the pleasure of yes having a beautiful sexual life you know? like she's affected by that emotion uh, because something won't happen to her or to him. So yes, uh, uh, that's the, the uh, more or less concepts of the Amoy. Do you have any questions about? Okay, I will uh, continue with uh, how uh, how we do that. Uh, so today we're not going to learn the most efficient one, the morning on the yoni massage or the gentiles, but uh, we're going to learn the less intimate the uh, uh, morning, uh, mainly on the chest area, uh, like uh, uh, up to the uh, pelvis. And uh, yes, we do it uh, by uh, pressing uh, the points in the specific areas, uh, uh, pressing so hard to the limits of the person who is receiving. So the receiver uh, always has control about the, the, the amount of the pressure, how we're going to press. So all the time uh, she or he is saying, uh, where are the limits and the person who is giving the session it has to always adjust to the that limits 
Yes, so uh, we use the um, 1 to 10 scale. Um, so uh, 1 is uh, no pain at all, 10 is it's uh, the biggest pain what you could imagine, like this, and uh, uh, 8 is the limit. So you have to stay on 8. Say 8 is great, yes? And uh, for some person, uh, the eight, like uh, for uh, the less uh, sensitive person, more maybe muscular, big guy, you know, eight w uh, would be like uh, uh, you can press very hard, and uh, the, yes, that would be the eight. For the more uh, sensitive person, maybe. Uh, small uh, tiny uh, woman uh, the eight would be just the much softer pressure you know like uh, some people like even the big guy can be very sensitive on the pain uh, in this especially points where uh, uh, needs uh, to be the armor so so basically he is choosing where is are his limits yes so uh, uh, we use uh, during the session only the numbers. There is no uh, something like, uh, uh, oh, fuck, this is painful. Oh, uh, this is too soft. Because we don't know how much too painful it is uh, or how much too soft it is. When you operate with the numbers, it's very clear. And it's also. Uh, less emotional, you know? like uh, it's very clear message. Okay, this is eight, no eight and a half, but eight, yes. Nine is too much. It means that you went a bit over the limits. So you, try, you this should always teach you. Okay, this is over the limits. I should try to do my best to never go there again because it's over the limits. You know. If you go too much, too often over the limits, you can even traumatize the person. And that's not the purpose, yeah? So we do our best to keep ourselves on end. Of course, it, it, it will happen during the session that you will press. Uh, also, like the sensation of the person will change during the session. So it will happen that you will reach the nine sometimes. But just... Be aware to pay attention to not to go there again. Yes. So so so. Um, yes. Uh, if it's six, okay, it's uh, too less. And the person is all the time, especially at the beginning, saying to you every ten seconds, like eight, eight, seven. So press hard. Eight, 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 six. Or you have to press a little bit more hard, you know, like so. so uh, also, especially at the beginning of the session, you ask frequently the person, what is the number? What is the number? Yes, and only the communication, only through the numbers. Um, then, uh, during the session, like uh, each point, uh, we will press for 15 20 minutes uh, and you can establish, okay, these are the limits of the person, so you don't have to ask the person uh, every time. But it's good that the person every time feel that, okay, it uh, went to seven, you say seven, you know, to save any change, to keep yourself all the time on the egg, all the time on the limits, yes? The uh, sensation during the session will uh, change, um, so, so you will get uh, very often more uh, immune for the pain, so you may uh, be pressed much harder, but you will see. So, uh, how we will do the session also, like first, we, uh, I'm going to show you uh, which areas uh, of the body are for the de-armoring, uh, uh, and then um, you look uh, in these areas, for three most painful, more uh, most efficient, uh, most triggering uh, points, you know? like so. So, 
uh, in, you will, in, when you will look, you will notice that uh, in some point uh, you press very hard and it's nothing, you will just get the five uh, and in some point you just press very soft and person is already saying eight, nine, yeah. and that means this is the point. Usually the emotion is uh, a water, uh, it's, um, uh, and the water uh, flows where it flows, where is the direction of the water. It flows always down, yes, and it always is where it stays in the hole, yes. So always uh, the same, like with the emotion, you no? Know? Like we look for the places between the bones, in the holes, yes. They are not at the bones. They are like between the ribs, maybe between, like in uh, some holes, yes. So so. Uh, there where we look for. Um, yes, uh, sometimes uh, also very good indication is uh, not only pain, uh, but also like you may feel that the uh, pain is radiating uh, to other parts. You can feel some triggering emotion during, like when someone is present. So taking this also into consideration. If you have like, uh, I don't know, five points uh, what are uh, like the same uh, pain uh, sensitive, but uh, like in two uh, or three, uh, you feel also emotionally triggered, choose this one what you are also emotional. So yes, uh, we when we found those points, we will press uh, we start from the most painful, most uh, triggering point, uh, and uh, we press it for uh, 15, 20 minutes, uh, depends from the nature. And then uh, after uh, we just uh, move uh, the energy uh, along the body, we work on the energetical body. Uh, during the dear morning sessions, uh, it's uh, the energetical body is activated, so uh, you may feel uh, that was the first time when I felt the energetical body uh, and uh, feeling that I actually feel the energy in my hands when I'm doing it. So it's uh, uh, yes, uh, uh, you can work on this energetical body. So we work on the energetical body with uh, energetical touch without uh, physical touching. Uh, so we just move uh, uh, along the spine, uh, the energy. We take away from the points uh, the left, uh, what is still there. We pull it out and throw it. So. Um, uh, after five minutes playing with the energy, we go to the second uh, painful point and uh, yes, we uh, press in the same way for 15-20 uh, minutes and then again playing with the energy and then uh, third point and then, uh, yes, all session uh, may take, depends how long it may take uh, to uh, looking for the point, uh, but usually it's about one hour. Uh, and yes, then uh, we switch the roles and the other person is giving and receiving. Yes? Yes, it's important uh, that uh, you use your body weight. Uh, it's like 20 minutes uh, of um, pressing. Uh, it's uh, a physical work, you know, like sometimes uh, people are uh, joking or, uh, and there is a lot of truth in it, like uh, that the, the person who is giving the session experiences more pain uh, in the fingers, in the body from pressing for such a long time than uh, the person who is receiving. Use your body weight, like uh, it's uh, much easier when you use your body weight, like so when you have your strong, uh, like straight uh, elbows and uh, you uh, put uh, your body weight on them, like you do it uh, kind of like uh, vertical. Then if you do it like this, no? If you do it like this, you, you use a lot of uh, 
uh, muscles to press. You know, like so, so uh, always adjust your position. Also, like um, you will notice, sometimes you will have to change the fingers because they will get painful. So uh, when you change the fingers, always say to the person, "I'm changing the fingers now," and you do it very, very slowly because uh, you're changing energies from the uh, yin to yang, like uh, from one hand to another. So the person may feel, uh, and probably it will feel, the changing the fingers very painful. You know, like uh, you can see that with one uh, finger you can press. Uh, like you was pressing much harder and then you start with the under the finger then the person suddenly is reacting like eight is much on, on the much softer pressure so so we always tell and change your fingers slowly and anytime you know uh, if you feel that your fingers are getting painful tired uh, change them more frequently this will uh, help you to avoid the pain so um, yes, it's important that your nails are uh, polished and uh, like especially you work with these three fingers uh, of both hands, mainly with the uh, thumb. Uh, so it's very important that they are polished and uh, shortly cut. If the person uh, feel nail, just say nail, then you have to polish them better because. Uh, with the nail you can make even the cut uh, wound, you know, like and the, 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 new, the person feel pain from the uh, nail, not from the, uh, the armor that we just missing the point and uh, we cannot really press hard uh, uh, because we are actually wounding the person instead of healing the person. It happens sometimes, like a uh, uh, little uh, girl is uh, giving the session to the big uh, muscular guy, uh, who is not sensitive for the pain. Uh, so uh, you, you may use the knuckles uh, uh, if uh, it will help, but also like you may use the uh, elbows. Uh, and if you use the elbows, just be uh, very specific on the location, yes, to not to press uh, somewhere where it's wrong to press, yes. So, um, like, and you, yes, you, you are more careful with that. Uh, yes, the, the, after the session, you know, like yes, you can feel. Uh, I always recommend uh, to not go to the city, uh, but uh, just go to the nature, and uh, you can even see like your eyes can see much better, much more colors, uh, because all the uh, perception that was blocked by the armoring, by, by the armor, uh, it's released, so you can hear much better the music, you can enjoy the music much better. And of course, you can make love and feel it much better. You can feel uh, the energy of the people, uh, energy of uh, uh, the places, the groups where you are entering. You know, like you can really, uh, your perception, uh, not only on the five senses levels, but also on the uh, energetical feeling or uh, intuition, you know, like it can uh, open up because you remove the arm, keeping it uh, uh, open, it's not good to go to the bad habits, but maybe implement some change in your life, uh, well, your body, your being is already asking you for some time, you know, like when you get some message uh, from the universe uh, about quick smoking or uh, uh, having enough sleep or whatever, uh, so listen to post uh, and uh, yeah, don't like put the armor back on yourself, uh, but uh, do some change uh, in your life. That's the also the idea to keep it uh, the high quality. So I think that's it. Uh, thank you for your attention.